I'm Foy Vance, a singer and songwriter from Northern Ireland. I've released three studio albums, which has allowed me to tour all over the world for the last 10 years. And recently, between tours, I took the time to travel the States, to dig in and discover what makes these American cities amazing destinations. I wanted to see what the very edge of America is like, so I headed to the stunning Pacific Northwest. From the moment your feet hit the ground, you understand what makes Seattle, Washington such a hit. A city that changed the face of music by giving us bands like Nirvana and Pearl Jam, has legendary coffee, amazing food, where gorgeous mountains, waterways and forests surround a rich cultural core. Seattle is a great city to visit. There's just a different feel here in Seattle, and I knew meeting up with John Roderick would go a long way in explaining why that is. Hey, boy. John. You're enjoying uh, a little Seattle, huh? I'm enjoying this view. Yeah. John Roderick is the guitarist and front man of the Long Winters. He's collaborated with everyone from Death Cab for Cutie to Amy Mann, and is a founding member of the Seattle Music Commission. Really reminds me of Belfast in a way. Yeah, there's a lot of similarity between here and places in Northern Europe. Seattle's just far enough away from all the other population centers in America that it had to home grow its culture. So, boy, this is the public market, Pike Place Market, they call it. And right here, you have the famous Pike Place fish stand. People from all over come to watch them throw the fish. <laughs> like it's, fish juggling. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> show, but they're also selling fish. Pike Place Market has been here since, pretty much since the founding of Seattle. It's like, sort of the, we think of it as the heart of the city. But the community relies on this market, you know? It's, we talk about the farm to table movement now. That's exactly what this is. Everything in this market is from local farms or greenhouses, oh, local God. crafts people. There we go, I've contributed to your community. Good. After the market, John and I headed to the Seattle Aquarium. Since 1977, they've been helping people make a connection with the amazing species they call Elliott Bay home. Well, that's weird if they're sort of sticky. Seattle is incredible. After hanging out with John, I met up with Dan Kennedy in Seattle Center. You might recognize him as the host of the Moth Podcast. But before living in New York, Dan was a local here in Seattle for five years with a community radio show. I'm really kind of like crazy about Seattle. Um, there's a million things to love about this place. The one thing I love about this kind of dead center location of Seattle Center is every fall, they have the festival Bumbershoot. So hundreds and hundreds of bands, you buy one pass, you come into Seattle Center and you can just watch everybody. And then of course, after they found Kurt Cobain dead in 94, this is where they played Courtney's reading of the note that Kurt left behind. It's musically and culturally just a really rich center of the city, you know. Before we were done touring Seattle Center, we made sure to pass through the KEXP radio station and gathering space a downtown Seattle staple. I hosted the morning show at this place back when it was 400 square feet at the University of Washington. And look at it now. Wow. Where's the 20 bucks you owe me? <laughs> How are you? I'm I mean, this well. is amazing. Look what this has yeah, become. Welcome. Hey, thanks. Welcome. Yeah, this is what we call the gathering space. Wow. Right. It's a place where people come together, a place to check out our art exhibit. We have an um, exhibit of photographs that we have a very large pool of professional photographers. We're exhibiting their work of performances that we produce. We have a record store, so you can spend lots of money there. <laughs> and the booth faces right out onto the gathering Yeah, space? that's DJ Morgan right behind the glass there. Wow. We've got 45 DJs. All of them has the authority to select the music you hear, so there's no playlist. There's nobody like oh, me God. saying, this is what you're going to be playing tomorrow. And our job is to connect music lovers to artists that we think should be heard. KEXP's gathering space is open every day, and they offer behind-the-scenes tours every afternoon. After all this, I'm off to meet with my good friend Matt Vaughn at his place, Easy Street Records. Easy Street is a West Seattle institution where you can shop for records, grab a bite to eat, and see a show. Not everyone does come here, do they? Because they come you don't, to Seattle. You don't, yeah, you don't think about coming yeah. to West Seattle uh, because the Space Needle's over there, yeah. the High Place Market's over there. Yeah. Are you looking for Aretha? Oh, there you go. We got it. Over here on the west side, this is the official birthplace of Seattle. This is where the 
the Denny family and those first frontiersmen came. Everyone from Pearl Jam to Lana Del Rey to Jack Johnson and hundreds more have played here. This is Mother Love Bone. This is yes, pre Pearl Jam. Yeah. And tonight, Matt has kindly offered me the stage. She burns like petrol, so paper and fireworks. It's nice when you sing. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning so deep to just breathe in her. It's true. There's no city like it in all of the states. Seattle is literally at the very edges of America, way up in the northwest corner of the country. And there's something amazing that comes from a city being off on its own. Something you can feel when you're there. They call Seattle the Emerald City, and when you visit, you'll feel like you're discovering a hidden gem. <laughs> 